Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the internet. Uh, one thing I want to mention is Bernarder said, Hey, I don't I think I can hang for a full stream because I just got home from the graveyard shift to my mom, but I saw you were streaming. Wanted to stop by and say that I appreciate everything you're doing. You're still my go-to guy for MTG. And then someone said, and Super Fritz said, I like how uh, we chat mics when we don't have time to catch the whole stream. We just drop in and do little commercials for Frank. I, I'm like, I love that. You guys are awesome. If you guys just hop in just to say, hey, even though you can't catch a stream, like that's super, like it actually means a lot. It, it, it affects me. Two Teferis, one pack. How many Teferis are in this cube? Three? That's too many. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Teferi. We haven't, we haven't drafted this Teferi yet and it's pretty oppressive, so. Also, I have an i7, an, an Intel. Uh, let's let me give you the exact thing that it is. I have an Intel i7 7700K. Uh, it's a KB Lake quad core 4.2 that I'm selling, and I always get offers for like trades. Hey, you want to take trades? Hey, would you do trades? And I'm like, no, dude, I really don't need trades. Like the odds you're gonna have something that I need is super low, right? But someone just messaged me and he's like, would you consider a Nintendo Switch and trade? And it's like the first trade that I'm like, oh fuck, maybe. Maybe I would consider that. <sighs> these are all very, very good. If we want to stick with white cards, we got these. If we want to take a Signet, which we probably do, we can take the Signet. Edka, what's going on? Glad you can, glad you can view from Poland. The Switch is a great system, but the thing that pushed me over the edge was Ultimate Alliance. Well, that timed out because I was thinking and reading and... But Hero Blade holds a very fine card to take, so I'm okay with it. Um... Also, can I trade my love and affection for computer bits? What's a computer bit? A uh, vizier of many faces. I'll just take vizier. I like vizier a lot. I think vencer is also very good. New step. Let the time run out and pick for you. Uh, I've gotten censored way too many times. Um... There's apparently an Amazon Prime delivery that's not for me for once. It probably is for me. It's probably just by Kerwit, though. I'm going to take Sensor. I think we're going to be... Oh, Orzhov Signet. Let's take an Orzhov Signet. Now I don't feel bad about missing that. Or we could just take Thalia. Thalia is always busted whenever someone... Whenever someone plays Thalia against me, I'm always like, oh, well, I guess I lose. I'm going to take Thalia and be like kind of an aggressive mid-range blue-white deck with Brims. Big Brimmels. Oh, Soren. Ranger of Eos. What are the odds we can actually get some Ranger of Eos value in this deck? I kind of like Prismatic Feast, though. Oh, I missed your bits? Danny, thank you for the bits, buddy. I always appreciate you. There's a lot going on. Uh, I could also take Sunlance. I think Sunlance is also reasonable. I want to take the Vista. Oh, Spectral Procession? Is that any good? I don't know. 
I think it's the only card in our color if we're just blue-white. So I'll just take Spectral here. I don't love it, but maybe it's good. Maybe it's fine. Well, Wall of Omens does not really go with our... with our aggro theme. <laughs> Wall of Omens into Thalia is not really a strategy, but... I don't really care about Pestermite and our blue, our blue green. Oh, Mana Tide actually seems like a card I will definitely play. If we can censor and Mana Tide, I'm down. <clears throat> the Raven Inspector? Pass that Ranger of Eos like a sucker. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. Oh, Sunlings came back? That's playable. That's just Lightning Bolt. Mm, sort of Fire Nice History of Banalia. Hmm, fascinating. This fan's getting a little too aggressive here. Okay, I actually don't think we're that aggressive. Sword seems pretty good when we have, like, Spectral Procession and things of that nature. History of Benali is also just good. I'm going to take the Sword, and I'm going to assume the History of Benali comes back. Oh, I like a Dragonlord Ojutai. Here's another Signet. This is the third on-color Signet we've passed. Could just be a Danto Vanguard, especially with a Sword. Oh, d -Logi? You want me to take the d -Logi? I could take d -Logi. I like d, -Logi. d It's d It's d -Logi. Uh, Also, Danto Vanguard is an option. I think it's these two. It's one of these two. I think we're more of a d -Logi deck than a... Uh, than an Adanto Vanguard deck. We might be a Porcelain Legionnaire deck. I love Staff of Nin, but someone made fun of it in... I got my work to buy me a nice mechanical keyboard. 0.5% increased productivity. Here it come. Yeah, 0.5% increased productivity, but 100% increased value in pleasure. Pleasure value. I literally have... It could be Staff of Nanny. It could be Coalition Relic. It could be Porcelain Legionnaire. I don't think it's Coalition Relic for once. I think we might just want Legionnaire because we want two drops. I hate seeing all these equipment, but knowing there's no stone forge. Like, I would easily take Batter Skull here and then just hope to get a stone forge, but that just ain't gonna, that just ain't gonna play. I think it's just Oblivion, Oblivion Ring. All right, Glory Bound Initiative. I like taking all these two drops now. Oh, Resto's nice. Okay. I like a good Resto. I also like Narset, and yeah, we're gonna take the Resto, though. Fell at our guardian. We can blink forever. Blinking forever. I think guardian's still a pick here. My wife saw American football and Thank Ween you. at Riot Festival and didn't take me, but I get to watch your stream now. It's about the same. That is not the same. She definitely came out ahead in that deal, my friend. Self-deprecation aside, American football is gasoline. 
I haven't even listened to their new album yet, but like the one track I've heard is fantastic. Laxative Extreme, thank you so much for the reason for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. You are awesome. Strawberry fields forever. This is a late bitter blossom, guys. I don't think we're either of these. I think we're just taking bitter blossom just in case. That's an insanely late bitter blossom. People got no respect. No, by American football, I'm referring to the emo indie outfit from the late 90s that broke up after one LP. That's helmed by Mike Kinsella. And then they got back together in the past five years or so. And they churned out two new albums. And as a young as a young Frank, I never thought A, I never thought I'd hear new music from American football in my life. And I never thought I'd see American football live. And both of those things have come to pass. Past? Past, not past. They haven't come to pass. That doesn't make any sense. Adanto Vanguard came back. All right, we're doing it. Oh, I do have to listen. Hold on, let me actually... Let me actually open up Spotify. And I'll remind myself of the new Get Up Kids album. I guess we'll just take a spell skite. Spell skite, if you will. Get Up Kids. Oh, Lingering Souls and a Flicker Wisp? It's gotta be Flicker Wisp, even though we have so many blinky things. Lingering Souls is great, but like without a blind. I guess we have Prismatic Vista. We could technically. All right, we're going to see what happens. Wow, Get Up Kids with an album from May, and I didn't even know, dude. Oh, they have a song called The Problem Is Me. That's the most emo song ever right there. Isolated Chapel is great if we want to splash either Lingering Souls or Bitter Blossom. Oh, yeah. We're leaving that up so I can listen to that bad boy later. That's even fine. Ashiok. Oh boy. Oh boy. Have to say you're a great streamer to just sit and paint war game miniatures too in the background. Something about your calming voice and great explaining voice of what's going on so I can concentrate on the models and know what's going on without Danny. That is an awesome compliment, dude. I really appreciate that. I do also need to listen to the new tool album. <clears throat> that's that's also a thing I have to do. That's funny that my two, the two albums that I'm like, I gotta listen to that are Get Up Kids and Tool. That's, that's pretty comical. That's some range right there. God, I just splash Ashok. We have Isolated Chapel, Prismatic Vista. I'm sure we can get another land. I think Ashok's just hidden. It's better than Blade Splicer. It's better than Lantern. Remorseful Cleric? We also just take Mana Confluence. I think it's funny that there's Vista and Terramorphic Expands. I'm just going to take Mana Confluence here. I could see Splicer, but you ever... Danny, you ever you ever cast an Ashiok? Come on, buddy. Scarab God? Oh, man, this blue splash is... This black splash is just... Uh, looking better and better. We got Thalia here, too. We could just take Thalia. It's so oppressive. I think it's Scarab God, and I think Thalia Tables. That's what I'm thinking. Are you ready for that? <clears throat> Ain't nobody taking Thalia. Mark my words. 
Also, if we are playing these black cards, Lingering Souls can come right back on in. Spectral can come right back out. Sheldock Isle. Oh, I don't hate you. Timely Reinforcements is fine for the sideboard. Is it Signet's kind of an on-color Signet? I guess it's just the same as the other ones. I think we're Sheldocking. The new Joe album? I don't... I don't even know what that means. Do we just want Sky Sovereign? No, I think we want Sheldock. We'll take Sheldock. Hey guys, it's Approach of the Second Sun, huh? Hey, look at that. Probably gonna play Venerated Loxodon, right? Wall does seem odd, but what are you gonna do? We're not we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Urz is interesting. God, we're like barely blue. I don't want to have a double blue spell other than Vizier, I don't think. I don't think we need multiples, but. Well, it's funny because, like, we have a sword. We have a Porcelain Legionnaire. Third Inspector makes a treasure or a clue. A clue. I think Urza is the stronger card here. I mean, he is. He is the stronger card. That's not even a question. I'm going to take Moldrifter here. Geist of St. Traft is great, but... Have you heard the new Joe album? Joe Ma oh, Joe Mama. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, crying out loud. Oh, wow, Sea Chrome or Concealed Courtyard? Which do you want to fix? I don't know. Depends on if we're playing this Bitter Blossom, right? I'll take the Concealed Courtyard, I think. Because I think we're just going to be playing more islands. Isamaru. I don't think we're Glorious Antheming. Glorious Anthem is just the worst Spear of Heliod, right? Well, no, because it can be destroyed by things that destroy artifacts as well. Oh. Well. Ooh, Remorseful Cleric comes back. Go for the throw could just be good. It's one of the best removal spells. I'll take the, the go for the throw. And the Thalia came back just as predicted. Silverblade Paladin came back. And there's an approach. Goes right on the sideboard. Alright, this deck is something. And Bitter Blossom can be a consideration. So can Venerated Loxodon. So can Glorious Anthem. Okay. Venerated Loxodon, I'll just cut it. I don't think we need both of these. Although blinking Muldrifter is nice, it's not really a ton of things we can blink. Silverly Paladin's cool, but I don't know if we're Silverly Paladin. Paladin. Take out the Sensor. Take out the Wall of Omens. This is the this is this might be the deck. Glorious Anthem is a lot better with Bitter Blossom. And Brimaz. And Lingering Souls. Porcelain Legionnaire is a two drop. It feels like I do get the Scarab God in all my draft decks. It definitely has that feel to it. I think this is actually okay. What is Feldar Guardian hitting? It's only creatures, right? No, it's permanents. Okay. Yeah, not a ton of things. This seems good. Thank you! Vizier is even... Like, Vizier is the roughest card because it's double blue, but... Tireless Tractor, thank you so much for 12 months of cluelessly driving this tractor around without tires. I should have been a human scout. Keep it up. Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, keep up the great work. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you. So what is this? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's plenty. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Definitely want to go 7 6 instead. All right. Let's give it. Give it. Let's get it. Let's do it. We can also go 10 7 7, I guess. Because we want to hit Bitter Blossom on 2. Do we have any life gain? Glory Bound Initiate, I guess. I think that's it. That's probably fine. Is Anthem better than Sensor? I mean, probably with Bitter Blossom and Lingering Souls and, like, Hero Blade Old. I mean, I, it's hard to be... I can't be sure. I can't be like, yes, it's 100% better in every situation, but... I mean, Sensor, this isn't... A, we're not we're not playing a deck that we're going to keep mana up every turn. Like, we're tapping out every single turn, so probably yes. We, we have, like, zero... Outside of Sensor, we have, like, zero instants other than Go for the Throat. Which is not really an instant. It's just, like, a card that's instant. And Loxodon's great, but I, the one thing I don't like about Loxodon is the tension that, like, you have all these attackers, but you're not attacking with any of them because you're spending one turn to pump them, so. Oh, I'm on caps. Well, unfortunately, we don't even have Mana Tithe yet, so. We're going to Vanguard into Sword, into Hero, into either Equip or Moldrifter. That's our plan. This guy. They're going to be like, uh, Burst Lightning? I just turned my Burst Lightning into a Char. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that guy's pretty obnoxious. We have sort of fire and ice. That's pretty good. So next time we can go Legionnaire and Equip, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't really feel like blocking and taking four here, so... The YouTube comments suggest this deck is too fair. Care to comment? Uh, no comment. Yeah, so we can either take two, three, four, five, six, seven, or just take four. I'm just going to take four here. The question is do we equip with this? <laughs> They're playing blue, red, and we have a sort of fire and ice. Yep. Shell Dock Isle. Yeah, we're probably just killing Champion of Wits here. Get some power off the board. Well, not that. Um, just play this guy. No, dude. This guy, pay the two, one, two. There we go. And if they kill this guy, we just take another four. But we might win this race. Like next to we can go Sheldock and Hero.
Yep, that's fine. We'll take four. Because we can just keep shooting these guys. I mean, we'll wait till we have a... Ooh, Dragonlord Ojitai? Yeah, that's the play. That seems good. Dragon guy, Ojalord. You know, the dragon guy. Oh, yes, apparently Sword of Fire and Ice and Dragonlord Ojitai are good things. Wall of, Omen can come, Wall of Omens can come in against this guy. Bitter Blossom can come out, I think. I assume they're going to be playing spells. We could actually add a mountain. And then we have Vista, Mana Confluence, and Mountain to play uh, Deafening Clarion. I mean, to be fair, Dragonlord Ojitai plus Sword is only 9 damage. They were at 10. I actually kind of like Spellskite here, too. Spellskite can also equip his Sword of Fire and Ice and still attack. Worth noting. I'll take the Anthem out here. ba doom doom Bringing in two O fours, <laughs> seems seems legit. <clears throat> I could see actually bringing in spell pierce. Might just be better than mana tithe, but I think they're both good. So I'll keep this hand. That's the land we're looking for. Cause I've got a golden ticket. We can actually just equip this dude. Get swinging. Gruel Signet. Hoth. Well, that's pretty good. That's a yikes for me, dog. That's interesting. Guess we're just playing this. Bouncing this guy. Oh, three minutes. Thraben Inspector is fascinating. Next time we can go Sword, Thraben Inspector. We're definitely not keeping uh, Teferi alive. He's done his job here.
three mana. I wonder if they overpaid because they forgot they had a red in the pool. No. No. Exquisite Firecraft targeting Spell Skite. Sure. I will not redirect. I'm a little scared about this guy ultimating now. That seems bad. Gonna need an Oblivion Ring here. We are not that lucky. Like, they just ultimate Koth and then they just shoot the 3-1 Inspector? This is pretty bad. I'm actually surprised at how bad this is. Is this Rob's favorite? Or I thought this was I thought this was LeFouf's favorite favorite favorite. I see. Well, this is a way to get around it, I guess. Unless they can counter it. Countering it would be pretty bad. I don't want you to do that. Oh, hooey. Ooey, Rick. Greetings, LaFoff. What's going on? Speak of the devil. Wow, that was really weird. I assume they just killed this guy. Yeah, okay. Koth emblem. Uh, golly. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Did someone call for a 5-4 flyer with Hexproof untapped and Pro Red Blue untapped again? I think it did. They did? I think someone did. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge. All right, let's do it. Let us do it. You can do it. Let's go. Put this on here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes, that was a yikes for me, dog. Oh, Danny, it's also a 7-6, not a 5-4, so... Similar, but different. Luis loves Shieldock Isle. It's doing nothing. Frank loves Ojita or, uh, Sword of Fire and Ice. It's doing everything. I guess I'll just take Go for the Throat here. And then we can crack this clue and keep Go for the Throat up. Oh, we can just play that. I think that's probably better. I'm going to attack with Ojitai. Draw two cards. Yeah. I guess we'll take two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's not Cyclonic Rift. One, two, three, four. Oh, they just drew two, dealt two. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Hurricane for four. Uh, still does nothing. Ojitai oh, lives, go.
sure. Sure. Uh, would it be better to draw than anticipate? There's there's no there's no real difference. Uh, you're looking at four cards either way. If it was scry and the cards went back on top, that's one thing, right? Because you always want to... You want to... It's like with Jace. You play Jace and then you... Or you play Preordain and then you play Jace. Because you can potentially see six new cards if you do it that way. If you Jace put two back then Preordain, you're only seeing the same cards. But it, since it's anticipating and all the cards go on the bottom anyway, like you're not missing any new cards. You're just looking at the top four no matter which order you do it in. If that makes sense. Oh, that was... That was a spicy meatball. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so we're just going to attack here and see what happens. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Ojutai. That's Ojutai. Uh, do we want Resto? I guess we can just take Thalia, play Thalia Vizier this turn. Oh wow, we're just having an abundance of riches. Um, so it's either Thalia and then Vizier. Vizier can't even tap this guy down. I think we're just killing this guy. Okay, that feels okay. Maybe it's better to stack the other way to draw then. That's literally what I'm saying, though. I'm saying, like, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, you're you're drawing a random card and then choosing the next card. Yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. <laughs> I was like, wait, did we just lose? How did we lose? And then they charred themselves to deal them the last point. That's pretty funny. All right, well, that that was okay. <sighs> yeah, they could have also shot themselves. Yeah, through the Koth Emblem, no less. Koth Emblem, I was like, well, we should probably just go to game three because we can't beat this Koth Emblem. Turns out the Koth Emblem did not do much. Oh, I like Glory Battle Edition a little better here. A, I don't have to take damage and be like, I can gain some life. I think we bounce that. Yeah, we for sure bounce that. That's the only use of Teferi, right? It's just bouncing things and frustrating your opponents. Woo! So next turn, Porcelain Legionnaire. If they play a creature, we can Porcelain and Sun Lance and then Dragon Lord Ojutai next turn. Yikes. Dragon Lord Ojutai is a hell of a card. This dude gets no respect. Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I have ever been so blind? I was waiting for an indication. YouTube, if you're listening, this is not a music video. This is a Magic the Gathering video. So, uh, please, please do not recommend music selections. This is a Magic the Gathering gaming video, a trading card game. We are playing limited drafting. Oh my god, are they going to censor this? Are they going to manatize us? No. Maybe. No. Hunter, stop.
Acidic slime. God, I never don't have it, do I? Parcel Legionnaire. Oh, my island? Buddy, I don't even need that. Who are you kidding? Boop. I was waiting for an indication. One, two, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. I never mean to do bad things to you. This is a fastball song, guys. You ever heard fastball from like the late '90s, early 2000s? Oh, that's well, that's just poor form. They did do that song the way, yeah. I mean, where were they going without ever knowing the way? Anyone can see the road that they walk on is paved in gold. It's always summer, they'll never get cold. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get this guy in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can put him to one. Well, that's not what we're looking for. I'll put you to two to dose. All right. All three creatures are lethal. You need another life gainer or three bodies. If you're so oh god. Oh, they're gonna kill the oblivion ring too. Jesus, talk about luck. Talk about how talk about being lucky as as Jesus. Come on. Just come on. Blue? Wow, they really fucked us with this this acidic slime on our island, huh? <sighs> they they just need to not have life gain. Well, alright, seems good. I think we're still ahead, but I literally have no idea at this juncture. Well, I felt like we were doing really, really good. And then they're like, I'm just going to gain seven more life and get my Thrag Tusk back. Lucky, 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 lucky. This is ridiculous. There are seven blue sources and six black sources. So, 12 other blue or black sources in the deck. Out of 23 cards. What am I missing here? Was I out of my head? Was I out of my mind? How could I ever have been so blind? I was waiting for an in six, seven, eight, nine tickets. We just take ten here, and that's why. Hmm.
Oh good, a Revel Arc. Nothing better than getting back Acidic Slime and Night of Autumn. Hey, a black mana. Not exactly what we're looking for, but... Our own Thali is actually hoisting us by our own petard right now. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Just Revel Arc, huh? Well, this is an easy jump block. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm wide awake. Well... Blue Source. What are, you, what are you doing? Instant Speed? Resto. Blinking Revel Arc to target Acidic Slime and Night of Autumn. Get rid of our black mana. I don't know why you do this during upkeep and not just do it during the main phase, but I guess this is cuter. Thank you. Spencer, what's going on, buddy? I actually don't play WoW. I used to. So they can just kill Porcelain Legionnaire and Gerdor Black Source. That seems amazing. They're really good at this game. Do you remember that time where we had them at like two life and they had a Thrag Tusk and we got rid of it and then they were like Night of Autumn. Kitchen Finks, Tristani, Derogatory Speaker, Restoration Angel, Revel Arc. Do you remember, do you remember that? That was a good time. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I uh, moved into a new place. My roommate was playing WoW Classic and it triggered me so now I'm playing WoW. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Spell Pierce seems terrible. God, I almost hate, like, Oblivion Ring and stuff just because they're like, well, I'll just kill it. I have Knight of Autumn and the other guy. You see. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to bring in Sensor. Maybe we just Sensor them out. That seems not terrible, I guess. Mediocre Magic Man. I said that same thing when when I found out Badger lives in a in a point in a in a thirty uh, in a thirty time zone. I'd never. I was like, I've never even heard of that before. I didn't even know that was a thing. command here in case you guys are on YouTube are like why is he typing uh yes yeah you guys should definitely go to uh, coolstuffinc.com and check out my latest article it is titled Frank Thoughts on Throne of Eldraine and it is all my thoughts on Throne of Eldraine and I have some good ones I have some good ones.
no matter what I say, no matter what I do, can't cast anything in this hand, it's true. Gonna try to play an undone gun. I literally wonder if they just hear me singing. I literally think the, the YouTube algorithm is like, this dude's singing all the time. He's probably making music videos or songs, like like videos about singing. Do, 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. Lotus Cobra. Got no plays on turn three, but next turn we can vizier of many faces. You don't think the YouTube the YouTube algorithm listens to the audio in the video? I mean, that's literally how they how they demonetize you. That's literally how they uh, like the algorithm can recognize like all kinds of nonsense, you know. Yeah, it's fine. No blocks, man. I don't even have any creatures. No, Meteor Match Me, I don't think that's true at all because like even my recommendations on my videos are completely weird. Let me see if I can show you guys. Let's move this guy over here. So let's look at this most recent, I guess we'll just look at this this cube draft, right? Ladies and So this is my this is my account, right? So like here's my recommendations. 10 things Lil Uzi Vert can't live without. Tamar Braxton gets real. I don't know who that is. Cody Lee wins America's Got Talent season 14. The ultimate commentary video, The Try Guys Extreme Tie-Dye Challenge. Uh, here's a Jenna Marbles video, which is great, but like I'm, I don't know why it's here. Steph Curry reacts to Kevin Durant's comments. All of this shit is totally random, and this is my account, so this has nothing to do with anything I watch. None of these are related to me in any way, shape, or form. Right? So like, it's really, it's really weird. Whereas like on other Magic videos, this would be other Magic videos. I don't watch a lot of other magic I don't watch a ton but also I have my history off so that wouldn't affect that shouldn't affect this and also it should be it should be more related to the tags I don't know man I don't know black source swampums black source swampums do 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 is it just Vizier and we copy something here? That seems not great. I guess we could copy this Lotus Cobra. But like if we hit any land, we can already play Dragon Lord Ojitai. I didn't disc Cody Lee, I just didn't I said I didn't know who she is. That was an interesting trade. Can't say I was expecting that. I'm actually just gonna hold this. We're gonna keep sensor up. I don't. I don't actually think there's any incentive to like just casting a vizier to cast a vizier when you have sensor. Uh. 
Yep. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm saying is it's my fault. I'm sorry, guys. That's annoying. Seems good. Not for us, per se, but, you know. Come on. <sighs> Jesus. Thank you. Badger with the 10 gifted subs, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Oh, God. My stomach has actually been killing me the past two days, guys. So if I'm not chatting as much, it's literally because my stomach is like frustrated AF right now. Thank you. I mean, I'm just going to eat this guy. I'm not going to take a million from this one. I don't have any ginger, so if I'm going to go to the store and get ginger, I'd just as Thank soon you. get, like, Imodium. Come on, be a land. No? Sword, fire, and ice? Okay. Thank you. I guess we could play Glory Ball to this shit, but that doesn't do anything, really, so... Badger, thank, thank you so much you. for the gifted subs, buddy. I really appreciate it. It's not nausea. It's, it's, it's mud butt. It's been my, it's lower stomach, not. Thank oh, you. Oh, God. Yeah, it's been real bad. Thank you. Gerwin, if you want to send me some Pepto Bismol or, or Imodium, if it can get here today, that would be a fucking amazing. Thank but... you. Jeez. Land? Oh, you're just going to resto your Woodfall Primus? Yeah, I know. You like doing it during your upkeep. It's real cute. Or during my upkeep instead of just doing it on your turn. Oh, God. I have been enjoying no pepper, pepper, pepper ball meatball subs. Yeah, I'll keep this. Pepper ball meatballs. Three lands and a glory bound issue. Exciting! That's exciting magic! Ooh.
Yeah, sometimes Amazon Prime is crazy. I'm like, I order something at 11 a.m. and it gets there by like 7 p.m. and I'm just like, wow, that's insane. What a time to be alive. Oh, Sword of Fire and Ice came out, like, I believe years and years before. All right. Valley's a hell of a drug, I guess. I'm gonna bring in Sensor or Spell Pierce, maybe. That was something. I don't mind the quick game, though, because I'm going to hit the rest. Oh, wow. Maybe turn two Thalia just kills them both games. That would be insane. We'll find out. The, the, the valley, uh. This is rough when we have Teferi and Sword of Fire and Ice in hand, but I guess we can still censor. Censor seems very good with Valley on board. <laughs> Basically dead. Gonna keep passing the sensor up. Oh no. Don't do this. Don't do it. Put it in the trash can. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, Emodium and Pepto and go, man, Kurt, you are my hero, dude. You are my hero. Less than an hour? What in the earth, man? Okay, this is actually fine. Wow, Kurt, you are a lifesaver, dude. You, oh my god, dude. Keeping the dream alive. Dude, thank you so much. Friends in Pacific Northwest places. <laughs> Be there in an hour. My, I, like, I love to think of Kerwit just sitting at his computer all day bored as hell and he's just like, I gotta find something to do creative with my time. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. What did they bounce? Thalia? That's weird. So I could just play Teferi and replay Thalia? That seems good.
One more night. Pact of Negation. We should have played Thalia first here because we didn't actually need that. That's actually funny. What did they exile? Time Warp? Hold on, some guy in Florida's having digestive issues. Okay, continue. <laughs> I'm basically his caretaker. I'm pretty sure I got two packages delivered today. I don't think I was expecting either of them, and they're both waiting outside right now, and I'm pretty sure both of them are from Kerwit, so... You know. Wow, Vraska's Contempt on... I feel like we're winning this game. Like... They're wasting a lot of resources to get rid of the Stallion. No, I think one was FedEx and one was your package. Yeah, we're just going to Dragon Lord here and then we're going to play Sword and equip Sword to our Hexproof Dragon Boy. Hexproof Dragon Boys. If you guys want to support the channel in other ways... You guys never do it, but go to patreon.com slash franklapore and you, for one or two dollars a month you can support the channel, the YouTube videos, the Twitch the Twitch channel, all of those things. Oh right, the FedEx one. Wow, so they literally probably are both from you. That's ridiculous. Sure, that's totally fine. I'm going to vizier of many faces that guy and tap it down forever. One, two... Oh, we don't have double blue. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. I was just kidding. JK. I'll likely just put a sword on this guy, and then it has pro everything but black. And hopefully that's enough. Just tap the blue down. Tapping the black doesn't do anything. Just tap the blue down. Tap the... Okay. Whatever. Whatever. So if we hit a second blue, we can actually go Vizier, Copy Frost Titan, Attack... We're not doing that, though. We did hit a second blue, though. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that'll do. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore. I just had an article on go up and cool stuff. Like I do every Wednesday, coolstuffinc.com. Promo code FRANK5 gets you 5% off. You can also check out manatraders.com, which has an awesome subscription service for physical paper cards or digital magic online cards. You can get 20% off any subscription for the first three months with the links and promo codes. They're all in the description below. Check those out. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.